it's the first Sunday of June and I'm here for the Yokohama Port Opening Festival. So I think they hold it first Sunday every June, every year. And I think this time round it's the 43rd celebration. I've been to Yokohama a few times before so I like to think that I know what's good to see out and about. Um, but it's the start of summer and it's actually set to rain in the next hour for like the rest of the day. But yeah, it's not like boiling hot day. I can show you what to do when you're out and about in Yokohama. My summer is quite long so I'm sure I'll be back in the summer for like the aircon edition so where to go to stay away from the heat. <laughs> so if you're traveling from Tokyo like I did, the easiest and the quickest route is hop on the train in central Tokyo and get on the um, Tokyo line and there's like a F liner express which is basically just like a super fast train all the way over to Yokohama and it takes about like 45-50 minutes so it's really good, really quick. It takes you to the Mochumachi Chupakakai station which is at the very top of Chinatown here in Yokohama. Um, oh, random fun, fun fact. Well, I don't know if it's actually enough fact, but um, they claim that this Chinatown, so Yokohama Chinatown, is the cleanest Chinatown in the world. Um, I've only been to the one London, Manila, oh, and I think Bangkok, and compared to those, I would say it's the cleanest. But um, I mean, there's still the rest of the world. So <laughs> anyway, um, I've had lunch. Fancy a bit of a snack, so hopefully I'll find something along Chinatown, and I'll just show you all the random bits and bobs. Fancy a dumpling, actually, or a mandu. Anyway, I'll show you around. See you there. I think there's a <laughs> I'm so happy that I feel alright And that I haven't met my brain My mom's a bug inside a tree My dad's a scientist who captured her But now it's time Yeah, he's just sending the pigs Shita Park now, which is like a 10 to 15, no actually like 10 minute walk, it's literally just straight back up and you're at the waterfront, so hopefully I managed to get a few clips, it started raining earlier, <laughs> so we sat under an umbrella and ate our snacks on, on the bench on the umbrella, pretty romantic I think, it's quite nice. Um, anyway, there's a dragon boat race happening, so we've been watching that. The place is really quite nice, and they have like a rose garden or just like a garden full of different types of flowers. Like r random tidbits of information about um, the waterfront or about Yokohama in general, actually, all over the city. Um, and apparently, this this whole waterfront, this whole green space, is one of the more later constructions around Yokohama. Um, but I think it's actually still been around for 100 years, so. <laughs> uh, I know in the summer, lots of people actually come here, play sports on the green. <laughs> I would not because there's very little shade. My husband and I are debating whether we should visit the ship that's here. So I'm not sure if you can see, but like just behind me is Hikawa Maru. It's a ship from the 1930s. Apparently it was a ship that members of the Imperial family and Charlie Chaplin went on when they travelled to Vancouver or Seattle from here, Yokohama. It's like 300 yen to get on, take a look. It looks quite big actually, I'm not sure if you can see. But yeah, I'm not sure if you can see also like Right, okay, like right there. That's the Yokohama um, Marine Tower, and I think that's supposed to have panoramic views around Yokohama. Pretty good for pick up. It's about like a thousand yen to get up there. I've never actually been. Anyway, put it here, and then we're gonna walk over to the red brick warehouse, um, which is full of like cute boutiques and cafes. 
Anyway, I need to find my husband. I've lost him again. I think there's another if you can see the floor but it was pouring down literally earlier so that everything was wet on the floor and now I just showed you that the floor was not wet at all <laughs> this like totally stresses me out I'm a flower the rain. I think somewhere in a different life I'm still seven in second grade and I'm so happy that I feel alright brick uh, warehouses. Uh, I'm not sure how much you know about Yokohama but when you google Yokohama the, the red brick warehouse tends to come up. And yeah it was just like a 10 to 15 minute leisurely walk from Yamashita Park to here. Like everything that I'm showing is literally like within a 10 to 15 minute walk. I'm doing like a big loop. Well apparently these are like from the 19th century so it's when Japan opened up trade. I was reading and apparently these red brick warehouses, this is where they would store unprocessed goods that were from abroad. Now it's like super chic boutiques and cafes. The, in the big area in the middle they've got a bunch of food truckers of the opening festival that's going on. I really like this area, going into the different, different shops and boutiques. I can't advertise on the outside because they're like trying to preserve the red brickness. Um, so <laughs> when you go in it's kind of a bit of a surprise. But anyway, I'm going to take a few pics <laughs> because I think <laughs> it'll look good against the red brick. Um, and um, I think afterwards we're going to go to Minatamori area, which is like the city centre. Anyway, I'll show you around. <laughs> to um, the Yokohama station. Um, it's pouring with rain outside so I wonder if the drone show is actually gonna go ahead or not. Um, but anyway we've just come from the amusement park and we went on the huge ferris wheel. Anyway took a bunch of pics and random insta stories which was making the the pod um, tilt and stuff and so like my, my husband was getting very nervous. I'm not sure if I got clips of it. I posted it on my insta stories. I'll leave a link to my instagram down below. You can check them out. <laughs> yeah I mean I really enjoy going on the ferris wheel. It's supposed to have been the largest digital clock in the world for a long time but I believe it's no longer. I don't know how true that is. All I knew about was Big Ben. <laughs> and we're going to look for somewhere to eat in this mall because like I said, it's pouring rain outside. I'll show you what we get for dinner and um, maybe I'll talk to you again after the show. Maybe. Right. Bye. So much to say, the words are hard to find. You're running 